Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stonewood with another comic review. This time of Seven Against Chaos by Harlan Ellison, uh, illustrated by Paul Chadwick. This is a sort of science fiction tale about um, a man by the name of General Rourke, who was um, uh, one of the last um, sort of humans on Earth before they, for humanity, sort of had to um, had to sort of branch off and go to, uh, go to the other other planets, other other galaxies, um, because of this uh, catastrophic war that was going on. Um, and he's trying to um, overthrow the sort of reptilian uh, army that has sort of taken over and wants to sort of erase mankind, become the the dominant species. So he um, so he, he gathers the, these other six um, individuals, individuals to, with various skill sets to sort of um, help him in this in this fight. He has uh, let's see uh, a princess who can who can control fire. Um, it's, uh, a very tall woman with like claws for hands who's very industrious. There's a, um, a cat burglar who has to wear a mask. He has like no no face anymore. There's an insectoid who used to be man or, or still part man. And then there's uh, a scientist and there's also um, a robot. Wouldn't be science fiction without some sort of uh, robot technology, of course. Now, um, I feel like the story is pretty good for the, for, the, for probably two thirds of, of the book. It's like a four or five issue miniseries, basically. Um, but the last third, with the sort of when when seven um, uh, sort of finally comes face to face with this uh, reptilian overlord who's sort of leading these leading his species against all humanity, pretty much. Um, things really slow down because a lot of techno babble and other scientific jargon and stuff getting thrown around about think like like time travel and other technology stuff that's kind of hard for me to follow and it is there isn't a whole lot of like real, real world frame of reference at least not for me um, maybe if you're really into science and that's your thing then maybe you'll find it easier to comprehend and understand but unfortunately things just really start to slow down because before that the sort of gathering of the uh of the S6 agents was pretty good. It felt a little contrived that, you know, Rourke is able to sort of, you know, find them on, on these various planets and sort of save them in the nick of time before they're killed, either either because they're in, like, these, like, gladiatorial, like, matches or they're being mobbed by, like, a big crowd or they're, like, like burrowing down into, like, the surface of a planet and, and there's, like, some sort of, like, police force trying to, like, explode, like, their, like, underground base. It's kind of kind of weird um stuff it's, it's a little contrived as to oh Rourke just suddenly you know um knows when to exactly scoop them up and you know save their lives and they're indebted to him because of it um uh, but but I think you you could probably sort of um get over that because I think he, he's supposed to have like a really um smart like um pre precognition computer system I think um, but that's definitely the best part of the book, the first two thirds. Once things start to slow down and get really, really dialogue heavy and just, you know, it just doesn't really, doesn't really work for me. So, um, and also the art, which is, is okay. I mean, it's, let me show you some of it here. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's all right. It's not really my style to sort of really line heavy and. I don't know. It's all right. Um, uh, but but again, this was one was something that I read for the art. It was something that I saw. I, th I thought, okay, well, I, I've heard of Harlan Ellison. I am curious about his work, but I'm not too sure if I like it or not. I, the uh, solicitation for the for this new version of the uh, trade made it sound like it was pretty interesting, and it was for most of it. So. I give it a 7 out of 10. Now, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, I'm going to be stopping these, these reviews, uh, but I wanted to let you know about the last book I want to review before I sign out for good, which is The Fifth Beetle by Vivek Tiwari, Andrew C. Robinson, and Kyle Baker. 
Uh, really looking forward to this. I like the Beatles a lot, and uh, I really am enjoying Andrew Robinson's art. Um, if you check him out on uh, Instagram, Twitter, he's he's a really good artist. Really, really cool style. And um, so yeah, that'll be my last video. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, about Seven Against Chaos. If you're a sci-fi fan, if you like Harlan Ellison or anything I've said that has sort of piqued your interest, um, definitely give it a shot. I mean, maybe some of the all, some of the the uh, the dialogue will make sense to you. Maybe it won't, like me. Um, but you know, definitely give it a shot. It's definitely not bad, but it's just it just probably isn't my thing, unfortunately. So. Yeah, until next time, happy reading.